I'm going to work in the SH schema for this demonstration. I'll begin by creating a table. Create table C1 has select star from customers. And let's see what information Oracle already has by default. Select column name, number of distinct values, number of nulls, the low value, the high value, and the histogram type, if there is one, from user tab calls for my new table C1. And we see that 12C, by default, when you create the table in this way, does gather a certain amount of information. Oracle knows that the cust ID column has 55,500 unique values, and none of them are null. And similar information for the other columns. We have the low value and the high value for each column. The format looks a bit strange because the values are cast to raw to populate these two columns. But here's the bad news. By default, there are no histograms whatsoever. So let's see how Oracle is going to use this information. I'll enable the auto trace facility and then run a simple query against my new table. Select count star from C1 where cus city equals Oxford. And back come 245 rows. However, the bad news is here. The cardinality estimate is only 90 rows. So Oracle thinks that after applying that filter, there'll be 90 rows back, which is clearly way off reality. Well, how did Oracle come to that conclusion? It did some very basic arithmetic. If you go back to the column information that it has, Oracle knows that there are 55,500 rows in the table. It also knows that there are 620 distinct cities. So all Oracle has done is take the total, divide it by the number of distinct values, and come up with a guess that for any one value you'll probably get 90 rows back. And this, of course, is going to be completely inaccurate. You would probably have more customers in New York than you have customers in Timbuktu. But in the absence of a histogram on that column, Oracle simply doesn't know that. So to give Oracle the information it needs, I'll gather, hist I'll gather statistics building up histograms in the way that many DBAs will do it. Execute DBMS stats, gather total stats, for my table called C1. Method opt, building up histograms on all columns, size skew only. What this means is Oracle will inspect the data and build up histograms on any columns where it thinks it needs a histogram. And to make the histogram completely accurate, estimate percent 100. I'm going to look at every row in the table. So having done that, what histograms do I have? Rerun the query I ran previously. And now you see some apparently good news. I've got frequency histograms, which remember are exact for all columns where the number of distinct values is less than 255. Where the number of values is over that, I get a height balanced histogram. So, how accurate might that be? I'll enable the auto trace facility again and rerun my query. The situation has got even worse. There are 245 customers, but my height balance histogram is in fact less accurate than having no histogram at all. Oracle thinks there are only 66 rows in the table, uh, rows in the table where city is Oxford. This is the problem with the 11G height balanced histogram. So let's go to 12C. I'll analyze the table, but this time I will not specify estimate percent. That's the key takeaway from this short lecture. Never specify a percentage for sampling. Let Uncle Oracle get on with it. And what histograms do I have now? I've got hybrid histograms coming in. Whereas previously, it was the 11G height balanced. So how accurate 
is my hybrid histogram. Once again, I'll enable the auto trace facility. And run that same query. Will you look at that? We're just about within 10%. This is going to be a huge performance boost. It will give the optimizer the information it needs to get the correct join order, join method, and access method. And all I needed to do to enable the new hybrid histogram was gather stats without specifying an estimate percent.